know what? You are great, strong, proud Republicans. Our Republican values are the values that make America the greatest nation in the history of the world. Freedom, opportunity, growth. That's what it's about. That's what the prosperity comes from. We believe in limited government, low taxes, individual liberty, and personal responsibility. That is what great makes America great. And the folks, the folks who are against us, the folks who say no, the folks who chant and try to disrupt, they don't understand what America was built on. They don't understand that freedom and free enterprise and growth and opportunity is what built the middle class and what funds our social services. And if we're not growing and creating wealth and prosperity through free enterprise and investing that money in our schools as our first priority to educate our young people, nothing else happens. That's the key to our prosperity. That's exactly right. And that's our agenda. You know what? Illinois was the greatest state and the greatest non uh, nation on earth, and we're going to make Illinois the, again, the greatest state and the greatest nation on earth. We have the hardest working people in America here in Illinois, the hardest working people in America. We have the best location of any state in America, the greatest agriculture community anywhere in America. We've had the best infrastructure. We've had some of the best universities. And you know what? With 12 years of Democrat rule from the Chicago political machine, they've devastated us. They have devastated us with debt, deficit, high taxes, unfunded schools, cronyism, corruption, self-dealing. They've created a mess from one party rule, from King Madigan and the Chicago political machine. And you know what? The Republican Party is strong. We're coming back. We're going to become a two-party state again and restore the principles that make Illinois great. We're going to turn the Illinois economy around so we're growing with free enterprise, entrepreneurs building businesses. We'll become the fastest growing economic state in America rather than the slowest. Build our economy, get efficient government, shrink the wasteful spending, shrink the bureaucracy, get that money out of the bureaucracy, put it into growing our economy, and put it into the services for our most vulnerable, for our veterans, for our low-income children, and into our education system where the money belongs. And, and we are going to make education funding not just something that gets cut by the Democrats like they have for 12 years. We're going to make our schools our top priority when we spend taxpayer money. We're going to invest in our schools, and we're going to make them the best schools in America for our young people so they can have great futures and great incomes. That's what it takes to build prosperity. That's what builds a middle class, economic growth, and excellent education. That builds the middle class, not bureaucracy and regulations and restrictions. We're going to do that, and here's the key. We've got to restore a government that works for the people again. Instead of working for a political machine out of Chicago, public servants should be working for you and the families of this state. They shouldn't be in government to make money and those amass power, they should work for you for a few years and get out of office and go back to the real world. And you know what we're going to do? The key to that is let's get term limits, let's get term limits on all the elected officials in Illinois, to, and let's get redistricting reform so we have competitive general elections and not gerrymandered districts. Term limits and redistricting reform to turn the state around. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Now look. It's a privilege for me to be here. I love Illinois. This is home, and boy, I, I'm a feisty guy. You mess with my home, Speaker Madigan. You mess with my home, you picked a fight with the wrong guy. You have picked a fight with the wrong guy. This government belongs to you. It belongs to the people of Illinois. It doesn't belong to Speaker Madigan. It doesn't belong to the Chicago machine. It belongs to you and the people of this great state. And I'm honored to work for you, and I'm a volunteer. I'm not, nobody's paying me anything. This is costing me money, but I'm doing it because I love you guys. I want this to be the greatest home in America for you. <laughs> Speaker Madigan, you know what? I was elected by millions of people. He's been elected by 17,000 people. He's been elected by 17,000 people. I've been elected by millions of people. Why is he there blocking what we need to do to reform and improve our great state of Illinois? This is the time to take back the state, restore it to the people. And those who want the old way of doing things, they can keep it. 
it's okay. But you know what? There's a lot of people who don't want to stay the way we've been going. They want to go in a new direction. And all we want is to enable you to decide. You want to get control on your property taxes? You should decide. You can control it. You want to decide what gets bargained in your schools? You decide. They're your schools. They don't belong to Madigan. They don't belong to any outsiders. Let's get these unfunded mandates off of our schools and out of our city and county governments so we can bring down the tax burden. And you know what? I'm outraged. I'm sick and tired of businesses leaving this state. We're a proud state. We're a great state. We got hardworking people. But our regulations and our taxes are pushing employers and pushing job creators out of our state. They're taking away our jobs. Our workers' compensation costs are out of control. Out of control. Our tort system, our lawsuit system, out of control. It's punishingly high. And employers are leaving. They're announcing every week that they're leaving. They're going to Indiana, they're going to Wisconsin, they're going to Tennessee and Texas. And I'm a feisty guy. I love to compete. And I'm sick and tired of them kicking our tails and taking our jobs. We're not going to let that happen anymore. So we're going to change our workers' compensation system so it's fair and more affordable and protects workers and employers. We're going to change our tort system so it's reformed, so these lawsuits aren't so abusive. We're going to bring down our property taxes so our businesses, our small business owners, can compete. And when we make those changes, you watch me. I'm going to Indiana. I'm going to Tennessee. I'm going to Wisconsin. I'm going to go down to Texas, and I'm going to bring those employers right back here to Illinois. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now, this is a great time. You know, change is hard. Change is hard. And we're, we're locked in a titanic struggle here in the state government. And I'm proud to be here. I, I tell you, I've loved living in Springfield. That's a novel idea for a governor to actually live in Springfield. But I love it. And I'm especially excited because we finally, we've raised some money, because I don't want to burden taxpayers. We've raised some money to fix up the governor's residence. I don't know if you guys have been over there. It's a beautiful building. But last night, any time it rains hard, the plaster falls in on the stairs next to my bedroom. And we got a problem. We're going to fix it. And I'm very excited. At 6 a.m. this morning, the roofers came, and the, well, we're going to fix the roof, take it off, and put on a new roof for your, for your governor's residence. Now, we're going to make some big changes this year. We're going to make big changes to help improve the quality of your lives. But the changes won't stick, and we won't be a prosperous state unless we are a two-party state for the long term for the long term. That means we've got to rebuild and strengthen, uh, energize our Republican Party every election cycle from, from the ground up for years to come. And I want you to know I'm personally committed to being your partner, working with you to build our party, the party of principles that make America great, so that we're strong, we're competitive in every election, up and down the ballot every time. We gradually get our principles into the system so we have a growing economy, great schools, value for taxpayers, and end the corruption and cronyism that's going on in our state government. So let's, let's rebuild our party. Let's get this turnaround agenda accomplished by working together and fighting. We'll restore the pride and the prosperity in our home. God bless you. God bless the great state of Illinois. God bless the United States of America. Let's get it done, guys. Let's celebrate. Yeah, yeah. You're watching the Illinois Channel, an independent nonprofit corporation form to provide gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of Illinois state government and other public affairs events taking place across Illinois.